Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to make a video about depersonalization again. And the purpose of this video is to give you guys a little tool that I've been using lately that has really helped me put things into perspective. And it's really a fun way of looking at your life. And what I want you to do is I want you to go on YouTube, go online, type in type in a hero's journey. Sorry, there's like a, a fire truck that just drove in front of me, but just type in hero's journey. And what I found is that it's pretty remarkable how relevant it could be in our lives and so basically the last few weeks months um, more the last month I've been trying to put my life into a story and make a story out of it and this is something that Harris Harrington talks about in his on his website for free free articles and stuff but basically if you try to put your life in terms of the hero's journey. And basically the hero's journey is you have your life, your circumstances, and then there's a call to action, a call to an adventure, something that's gonna, gonna be hard and difficult, but it's gonna be an adventure and you're gonna hopefully be better for it. And so, After the call, you maybe you encounter like a mentor and you find help that's gonna help you on the journey. And then you go on past the first threshold. And the way I see that first threshold is you're start you're acting upon what you think you need to do. And basically you go through trials and challenges and eventually Eventually, you go to the deepest part of the journey, the main reason why you're there, and you overcome your biggest obstacle. And then, after that, you're transformed. You go back up, up on the circle. If you'll find images of it, there's, it's like a circle. You go up, you'll be transformed. You'll get a gift. Maybe it's like a knowledge or wisdom, and then you can share it, and then you return to your life. And so how this relates to us is I believe that it is so helpful if we look at all of our life as a story. And if we look at all of our challenges and reflect on them and see those as opportunities to grow and see those as opportunities to learn from. For me, there's been relationship issues that have happened as well as other other issues that have happened and basically what we're doing when we're writing a story about them is we're bringing them back to our conscious awareness and we are processing them and what that means is you're not this is something that I've had to realize in the past few weeks is that processing your traumas, processing difficult experiences is not reliving them in terms of putting yourself in the same situation over and over again because that's re-traumatizing. So basically what we got to do is we got to look at these hard times and we've got to look at them for what they were and see them as opportunities to learn from. And so that may be, for example, saying, you know what, I surrounded myself with this, with these people that weren't treating me properly. I was not assertive enough to say my own opinions and whenever I was around them, I felt like I was contracting and not able to say what I truly want to say. And so when you're 
looking back, you can say, okay, that did happen. But now you can choose to surround yourself with different people. You can choose to work at being more assertive and saying what you really feel. And so basically when you're looking, I see the hero's journey as the call for all of us the journey that we all are taking pretty much or that would be good for us to take if we truly want to get over past our past and DP in general is that our, our adventure is to go dive deep look at our lives objectively note how we felt note how things made us feel and work to do better and I feel like when we get we're going through this journey this will help us uncover our our side that we want to push away the part of us that's felt like had a raindrop part of us that felt like we were acting against who we really were and yeah so that's something that's really helped me put things into a coherent and organized way or structure. I think my sunroof is leaking, but anyways. So basically, look up a hero's journey and see your struggle, even this whole experience from being cut off from the world and yourself as a learning experience that you can that you can learn from and you can make sense from and be grateful that it's happening because it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you a freaking boss in your own skin. And it'll take time. Everything, not everything, but everything pretty much takes time. If it's truly going to be a more permanent change. And so... Just embrace yourself, love yourself 100%. That's another thing that's helped me is to, if I do something or think about something that would potentially cause me to feel ashamed or guilty, then I say, you know what? I can either sit here and be angry at myself or I can learn to love myself and forgive myself. And there's a difference between forgetting and forgiving. And so I see it when we consciously process all of this, all these experiences that we've had, we are not forgetting about them. We are integrating them into our model of who we are. And we for, ultimately we forgive the people who victimized us if we are emotionally abused and we forgive ourselves for being powerless in some situations and not seeing what we now see. So basically, see this whole thing as an opportunity to become a freaking wizard. Don't be afraid of yourself. Love yourself. Forgive yourself. That's where it all starts, is yourself. And it's not being selfish. It's being... It's being gentle with yourself. Because you've you might have internalized a lot of stuff that has happened to you and you might have you know if someone's calling you names or making you feel bad you might have internalized that and so you're calling yourself that now you're not you are a gangster so stay gangster and continue on your hero's journey embrace it